School districts are reporting an alarming rate of disorderly or even violent behavior at meetings. The National School Board Association recently asked President Joe Biden for help to punish threats to board members in a way that's similar to domestic terrorism or hate crimes. Today, the Carmel Clay School Board held a virtual meeting. It was the first time parents weren't allowed since they announced the move online last week. Fox 59's Justin Kolar spoke to the superintendent about this change. Tonight's school board meeting here at Carmel Clay was the first to be held virtually due to disruptions and outbursts from the crowd in previous meetings. Tonight's session was noticeably quieter and faster without the public comment portion. Well, it's unfortunate and it's sad that we, we have to do this, but uh, at the same time we were able to get important work done. No interruptions, no noise, only flowers given anonymously to the school board by a family sharing their support. I believe in our community and I, I think we'll pull back together. Superintendent Michael Bearsford belief remains unproven after the board walked out of their last meeting when they say the crowd turned too disruptive to continue. I wish um, we had a solution to this. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, and we've got to, you know, respond. And, and our, our mission is always the same. We want our kids to be known and loved. We want to be challenged appropriately, and we want to be good people. But experts argue things have changed since the pandemic, and the growing trend of uproar and outrage in public could be here to stay. When people do that, they're really acting out. We see that as really, uh, you know, wrong and, and unusual behavior, and it's not so unusual anymore. There are a lot of people who fear that this is more normal, right? That it isn't something that we always believed was like, oh, that's not right. Tonight, the school board interviewed candidates for a seat on the board. It lasted just over an hour, recorded for the public to view at any time. It's just sad, and, uh, you know, I've been in the business, you know, come almost 40 years, and uh, this is all new, new territory for me, too. Uh, so is a pandemic. Which experts like Hurt say is likely to blame. The escalation that we've seen uh, of this kind of act of just impatience, uh, aggressiveness, kind of lashing out at other people is certainly somewhat of a outgrowth or a, you know, a result of just the constant stress people have been under over the last you know, 18 months with the pandemic. Carmel Clay hopes these seats will be filled by parents soon, but that all depends. I hope we can get back to the way we were where we're working together you know, to make sure our kids have a good quality education. The Carmel Clay School Board says that in-person meetings will return at some point, though that timetable is unclear tonight. We're reporting in Carmel. I'm Justin Kolar, Fox 59 News. Justin, thank